Hi everyone, it's Tom from Creator Cards, and this is my first video tutorial. I want to show you guys how to create an e-invitation with your Canva designs using Canva and Creator Cards. You can create an experience such as this e-card, and you can collect invites from your guests. So, so guys, in the amazing world of Canva, we know we can design anything we want. So let's say we want to do an invitation search that all right so I'm just gonna choose one here so we know that Canva is awesome for creating any type of design invites for example this one it's a great template um, but the thing is with Canva of course you can share this image and of course you can get the card printed but what if you wanted to do more with your design such as in the case of an invite collect RSVPs from your guests so how can you do this so this is why I created creator cards this is one of the things you can do with creator cards so let's look at how you do this so if we come over to creatorcards.io we can click on create a card it's free and that's going to take us to a dashboard now in the dashboard we can access all different types of design types that are supported by Canva. So let's go to invites. Awesome. So what we're looking at here is an invitation template. Now the cool thing that Canva has done is created what's called the Canva button and that allows other websites to integrate directly with Canva. So if I click design in Canva it's going to open the Canva editor to the invitation templates uh, right here. So that's so cool. So I'm going to choose that same template design again. Now I'm not going to change any of the details um, because this is just a demo of course. So now I can click the publish option which is to save to creator cards. So now we have the design in creator cards. We can click next. Now it's going to ask us to give the name a design, so I'm just going to put Invitation Demo, Save Design. Now this design is really saved into Creator Cards. Now in Creator Cards you can also add a message page to the card, but in this case I'm just going to skip this step, Confirm Skip. So now we're able to brand, change, and make the experience for the user which here is a preview of so this is going to be experience of what your e-card looks like when you send it to one of your recipients and we can edit lots of things we can edit the background wallpaper we can edit the branding colors and we can change this button to an RSVP button so let's do that uh, first so click on the CTA button let's choose the RSVP type so it's just giving me an, an example of how the RSVP is going to work when you send it to a recipient. So you just do add RSVP. Now of course we don't like this coloring so we're going to want to change the branding. So we can click on branding here and then you have a color palette. Now I'm not sure of a really awesome color for this. Let's just try the purple and then we can change the banner text so your invited oops I can't spell invited invited save that now we can see the branding has changed to this purple and it says you're invited at the top so that's pretty cool you can also change the wallpaper so the wallpaper at the moment looks like a wedding so that's not really suitable so i i have integrated the ability to upload your own image or select something from pexels so i'm just going to put birthday in here and go and then we can flick through all the birthday um, background so perhaps yeah i kind of like this one it looks pretty cool save that and that is going to change the background there. There's the background now. So the new background has the balloons in there. I think this looks pretty nice. Maybe this purple is not the perfect color to match that. Uh, but you could adjust that all yourself. 
Um, you can also add effects to the page, such as, for example, let's say you wanted to add confetti um, and have some kind of fade in for the wallpaper, which I'm not going to do. I can save that. And then you'll start to get this confetti come down if you were to load the page. So we can kind of preview in a bigger window here and see what it's going to be like for the user. So when you send your e-card, it's going to look something like this. Uh, the button of course is clickable and your guests will be able to RSVP to your event so that's pretty cool let's do next so this is the send page now we can add a message there going hi we're no, no, it's not weird anyway it's, it's it's my birthday And that's going to save that as a message which can get sent with your invitation when you share this. Now, sharing on the PC maybe is okay, but you probably want to share that on your phone. So if you click share here, it's going to open this box with a QR code and you can then scan this code with your phone and you'll come to the same page on your phone and then you can share your e-card using your phone which is much better because you can share it on iMessage, WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, anywhere, any app that accepts link sharing. So on your phone, in, once you've scanned the QR code, you get to the same page and you'll be able to share this using your phone. So for example, you could message it to a friend and it's going to be like this. They're going to receive this beautiful link preview, which they can of course click on and then come to the receiving experience for the invitation um, they're going to be able to obviously click the RSVP and put if they're attending type their name in um, how many additional guests they may be bringing and any little message they might want to send back to you and they'll get this beautiful confirmation and that's so simple for them so back now in the desktop app um, we can go to back here which is going to take us back to the dashboard now don't worry everything is auto save in creator cards so let's go back to the dashboard and check out our RSVP tab now we can see the RSVP that I created is sitting here in our table of guests um, we've got the number of total replies we've got one reply being yes and uh, no one's rejected my party yet. Now what's cool is that you can download these um, so that you can have them on your own computer and you can add them to some other type of organization uh, Excel sheet that's you're doing for the party. And you can see all the designs you've made in your design. So here is our invitation demo. We can always go back and edit the design edit the features, the branding, or go back to the send page again so that we can then send that out by copying the link, by sharing, uh, by doing this on your phone as well again with the share link. Um, and that's kind of it guys. So that's how you can turn your Canva designs into a actionable e-card for invitations and so that your guests can RSVP makes it awesome because it's your design your e-card and it's really functional you can do all those things um, so thanks for listening and we'll be making more tutorials and if you want to check out creator cards go to creatorcards.io so thanks again and see you in the next video